How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today why don't we have a little peekaroo at the Rat King vs Vernon 2-pack from NECA Toys based on their appearance in the animated series. As usual, beautiful box art, great big window in the front, you got Rat King on the one side, you got Vernon on the other. Top of the box has that classic Turtles logo with a turtle shell motif, with the left hand side having the Rat King, and the right having Vernon. On the back of the package, we have another image of Rat King and Vernon standing together as if they're best buddies. Then on the left hand side of the box, we have the origin of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Collect Them All, other figures that you can get in the series. Cool beans. Now, let's get them out of the box. It's a cartoon sewer background. I feel like whenever I get this far in an action figure unboxing, that I'm just looking at characters stuck in suspended animation, and as soon as you begin to cut these bands, you begin to release them from stasis. Hang on, I'll be back in a second. And now out of the package, just like the rest of the TMNT animated figures that NECA has released, there's a lot to go round. Vernon comes with an extra rat head and two extra rat hands with the forearms attached, three extra non-rat hands, and a Channel 6 news camera. While the Rat King comes with his hypnotic flute, three separate rats, two of which are clearly intended to go over his shoulders, three pop can bombs, along with the bandolier to put them in, a can of weird non-green mutagen, and three extra hands. What a fantastic set. Let's look at them both, starting with the Rat King. Now the cool thing about this Rat King figure is he's been designed to look exactly like he does in the animated series. I remember as a kid I had the original Playmates Rat King figure, and I always kind of wished that he looked just a little bit more like the cartoon series. Odd fact though, I got the Rat King figure before I ever saw the Rat King on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The color palette for this Rat King figure, it's exactly like it was in the cartoon. You have a lighter green for the legs here. You got the brown wrappings and also a, 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 the, the diaper wrapping. I'm not really sure what you would call that right there. I guess they're supposed to emulate trunks of some kind. He's got the wrappings that go around his waist, his sewn together, almost scarecrow like tunic. It just, he looks very much like he did in the original cartoon. With the Rat King, as far as the black lines of the paint going where they're supposed to go, I feel like. It's not too, too bad. Rat King's facial sculpt looks very much like it does in the cartoon, how it's animated. Only, I feel like with the cartoon, there were definitely times when his facial proportions were perhaps a little wonky. And I don't think we're getting that with this figure. I think that they're doing a fantastic job with these guys sculpting their heads. And for Rat King's articulation, I've already boiled him up, so there's no fear of snapping any of the limbs. So we can go ahead and poke and prod. His head is on a ball peg, and that's not too bad. That's actually, yeah, that's actually really good. He's also got a torso ball joint, and that is fairly articulated. I like that very much. The shoulders are on those rounded hinges. How far up can we make these bad boys go? Ah, uh, full T, good enough. And of course, they're gonna be able to go around like that. You've also got your bicep swivels, double jointed elbows. They crunch up enough for my likings. And then of course the wrists, which are on those hingy peg swivels. Rat King's also got two ball joints down here that would offer a much more reasonable range of motion if it wasn't for the rubber parts here. They, go, they can go forward pretty well, but I do want to warn you all that by moving them forward too much, you will begin to crack that paint. Up inside here, there also is a swivel, so that piece of articulation hasn't been forgotten, as well as a very blurry and now in focus, double jointed knee. And it can, yeah, that's a pretty good crunch rate. Again though, I wanna point out, you can see that just wiggling the articulation here, we have some serious paint issues beginning. I've barely done anything with him. So that's just something to be aware of. And finally, his feet are on little rounded ankle pivot hinges. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that. Look at the bottom of his feet. Even the bottoms of his feet have been properly detailed. Well, except for the NECA and the Viacom, but you get the point. He looks like he's wearing a full body sweater. Now the Sodi Pop bombs that as you can see fit perfectly into the bandolier. The bandolier can also fit nicely across his chest. We're just gonna pop his head off like that just to make it a tad easier. Lift up his arm, stick the bandolier over his chest, just like that. Put his arm back down and pop his head back on. 
And ta-da! Now he's ready to blow up everybody! The can of mutagen that he comes with, which doesn't look like any other can of mutagen that any of the other figures come with, you can open that bad boy up and you can see on the inside. Yep, there's something definitely wrong with that mutagen. The good thing is, he can hold that bad boy in his hand. It fits perfectly. And now let's take off the hands. Uh, wow, those are kind of tight. That come uh, on the body. And let's install one of the grabby hands, as well as his accusatory pointy finger. You did it. And you can see that his hypnotic flute will fit into this hand, and it really kind of is the only hand you can sort of get that flute into. And now he's ready to hypnotize Splinter, or just any rats in general. We may look like rats, but that doesn't mean we have to take orders from you. Oh, but I think you will. What a strange tune. You two are now completely in my power. And from now on, you will be rats not only in body, but in deed. Yes, master. Now as for these rats, remember how I said that they fit on his shoulders? Well, you can kind of tell because the tails curve. So it becomes kind of obvious to me that this is the intent of the tails. To wrap under his arms like that. So there's the one... And there is the other. And I guess, you know, it makes sense that he would have rats on his shoulders. He is the Rat King. Cool beans. Now let's look at Vernon. This here is the Vernon figure that I have always, always wanted. This is a perfectly captured representation of Vernon. I like this so much. It really looks like the cartoon has jumped out in front of my camera. His pink shirt is actually casted out of a pink rubber, which is nice, which means it's not going to scratch off. You know, well, I mean, the back of the shirt is darker than the front of the shirt, so there is potential for the back to scrape off. Not that I'm worried about that, but it is nice that all the pink parts have been casted in a pink plastic. His little tie is made out of a saw. Oh, he has no buttons. This is just a golf shirt with long sleeves. Nice little details like the wristwatch and the little pouch there on the side of his trousers. His jeans actually look like jeans, which is cool. They've got the bottoms all rolled it up, sculpt nicely. He's got his, I would look at these and think that they're white Converse sneakers that he's wearing. Darker on one side, lighter on the other, just as is the theme with their animated figures. And Vernon's face looks perfect. He looks like that wimpy, cowardly Vernon that always puts himself first. I just know that if I see a single rat, I'll scream. Okay, then how about a hundred rats? <laughs> I won't scream. I'll just be. Like a little wimpy sissy boy. I like how all of his hair meets in the middle like that. Like the hair from the bottom is combed up and the hair from the back is combed down. That's so weird. As for Vernon's articulation, it's not too bad, actually. He's got two articulation points from the shoulders up, because he's got one right here at the base of the neck and then one at the top of the neck, so he can kind of... The arms, they're the rounded hinges, so we know exactly what they're going to be able to do, and he can at least get that full T. Of course, they're going to go all the way around. He's got, I would say, a bicep swivel, but I, would, I really wouldn't call this so much of a bicep swivel as it's a double-jointed elbow as you can clearly see. So he's got this piece of articulation, but then it also goes further in. But at the same time, it actually rotates. So I think that it negates the need, or really the space, for putting a bicep swivel on this figure. He's also got the wrists, which are on those little peg hinges there. He does have a tornado waist that spins all around, and it's not just one that spins around. It's actually on a ball joint. Does he have anything in the shirt underneath here. I think he may have one in here. Don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure. Even if he does, it's going to be rendered pretty useless based on how the thick rubbery shirt is absolutely going to be getting in the way of that. Below the belt, you can see that although he is not entirely ninjally, he does have a very reasonable amount of articulation for a cowardly cameraman whose only job it is is to comment Snyder marks and run away. He's got some swivelly motion up here at the top where it connects. 
He's got double jointed crunchy knees. Those are actually, those are really good. And then hinges right here at the top of his shoe. And they also do a little bit of pivoting. Technically, his sleeves that have been rolled up also have articulation, but I don't really feel like that's intended to be an articulation point so much as it's just a, a product of being able to do this. You can pull them off so that you can turn Vernon, oh, wow, that is, that is tight, into, oh, that one's just as tight. Oh my gosh, ooh. So that you can turn Vernon into a mustachioed Elvis impersonator mutated wear rat. Fun part about this head sculpt is that the mouth actually opens and you can see on the inside there. <laughs> oh wait, what's wrong with my hands? Well, this isn't right. Oh no! And then here we've got Vernon with his pointy finger on this side so that he could point accusingly as well. And he's also gripping that Channel 6 news camera. That is a cool accessory. Yeah, this I like this one better than April's. We've got the screen on the back here so he can see what he's doing. There's an eye. Oh, I've got it in the wrong hand, don't I? Yeah, he has to put that in front of his eye. There we go. That is probably more like what it should look like because now the, the, the eye monocle is on the right side. So now he can look through it like he probably should be able to. And he can use the shoulder piece. He can do either or. He can't do both at once. You'll notice if it's on top of the shoulder... It's definitely, it's too far back for him to be able to use the eyepiece. And that's about it. So what do you think? I, I, I like these. I like these guys a lot. I've been really enjoying collecting the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated figures. I don't have them all, but I'm sure I'll catch up on those. I don't usually commit to an action figure line as fully as I have to these. I feel like with this action figure line, I'm fully committed and I'm in it to win it. I, I kind of want to make sure I collect all of these. So if you're out and about in public and you happen to see this two pack sitting on the shelves and you're hemming and hawing about it, I say pick it up. While I was fiddling with these figures, I didn't get any sense that the plastic was brittle or going to snap. They look fantastic. If you're collecting this line of figures, Vernon and the Rat King are definitely going to be must-haves to complete the look of your animated turtle shelf. And honestly, if you're my age, that means 40, then these are going to hit all of the right nostalgic notes in the song of your life. Wow, that sounded a whole lot more deep than it probably should have. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.